is, well, I know at Nectar, what, you know, and I can speak more to Nectar, is I don't think I'm expert on all the ver- sure. you know, various techno- you know, technologies and the depth that many of your listeners probably are. But I know at Nectar that what's been most interesting for us is understanding is that the depth of biology understanding coupled with diagnostics that allow you to engineer for solving specific problems are much, much better. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, we can basically understand the biology and now engineer specific drugs. So there's a lot of technologies out there that are sort of, you know, I call the monkeys and typewriters approach, Mm -hmm. which is if you, you know, put enough monkeys together and enough typewriters, you can eventually get the Bible. Uh And so a lot of the, you know, the computational approaches, you know, you know, are, you are kind of, let's do a huge number of molecules, let's narrow down. What we're doing at Nectar is exactly the opposite, is what we're doing is let's have a really deep understanding of the biology, not just from the point of view of how the receptors works and how the disease mechanism works, but also understanding the pharmacokinetics of the drug to understand how it should work over a period of time. And we've, you know, and our technology allows us to actually, using pegylation, to engineer molecules that have different release profiles that allow you to, you know, block certain parts of a molecule, have other parts that are active, have other parts, certain parts that you block, then release over time, that really allow you to fit to the biological mechanism. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, and that's, you know, an approach that for us you know, I think is really is really promising. It may not be for everyone because they don't have necessarily the understanding of how to do the drug release over time that we do, but it allows you to do much more exact engineering. 